Gold, gold, gold. How oh, I love this stuff. Is there anything more pleasing than gold? I ask you, court advisor, isn't this gold ring the most pleasing thing you've ever seen? All your golden rings are pleasing, great King Midas. And your golden spoons, and your golden mirrors, and your golden doorknob. <laughs> I paid a thousand pieces of silver for this ring. And I don't even like silver. Nasty stuff. I'm sure your ring is a wise investment, Mighty King Michael. Investment? What do I care for an investment? I am the Mighty King Midas. All I care about is gold. It's all that life is about. Why, I can't get enough of this stuff. At night, at night I dream of gold. I am jealous of the golden sun. I'm jealous of golden honey. I'm jealous of golden wheat. I just can't get all the gold I want. I heard that. Oh, what my nonsense. Good, my good Queen Helena. Oh, Midas, you should be ashamed of yourself. I have to have it all. Sometimes you act like such a child. What man do you know that is jealous of honey, that is jealous of the sun? Nonsense, total nonsense. Uh, you, you forgot to ask the golden wheat, your majesty. Oh, <laughs> yes, I did. Thank you. And jealous of wheat because it shines like gold in the sun? Shame, shame. Can I help it if I love the precious metal? And then, anyway, I am the king. I can be jealous of whatever I want. Court <laughs> advisor. Yes, your majesty. Fetch me a plate of gold coins. I'll count them. Always relaxed. Your <laughs> wish is my command. I live only to serve the mighty King Mike. <laughs> is that how you plan on spending your day, counting gold coins? Doesn't this day mean anything to you? Well, today is Thursday. Yes, it is Thursday. But doesn't it mean anything special? Tomorrow is Friday, I think. Uh -huh. and, and yesterday was Wednesday, I think. I will let my servant enlighten you about what is so special about today. Olivia? Today is your daughter's birthday, Your Majesty. Oh, I, I forgot. I, we'll have to celebrate, have a party. <laughs> silly king, silly, silly king, silly, silly, silly king. <laughs> your tongue is impolite. And so is my impatience. <laughs> Nobles have gathered throughout the countryside to celebrate the princess. Princess Penelope. My daughter. Queen Alexandra of Crete and her son Ad uh, Prince Ajax have arrived. Oh my! Ajax, our son in law to be. There's no need to remind me that someday Prince Ajax and Princess Penelope shall be husband and wife. Oh, I disagree with you, Midas. I think I must remind you of everything, every little detail. <laughs> because all you ever think about, all you ever care about is gold. How can you say that? <laughs> it's not true. A plate of gold coins for the mighty <laughs> King Midas to count. <laughs> Put them over there, I'll count them later. As you wish, great king. Who has come to see our door? Citizens of the kingdom, your majesty. Yes, yes, but who? Sabrina and her sisters, Lydia and Chloe, from the island kingdom of Noxos. <coughs> they pay us a great honor. I hear Sabrina and her sisters can do all kinds of special things, powers and such. It is said that Sabrina once turned a frog into a man. <laughs> what a waste of talent! Why would you turn a frog into a man? It just doesn't make sense. <laughs> makes a lot more sense than turning a, a man into a frog. I mean, after all, what do frogs do? They jump on a lily pad and they croak. Slimy things. Frogs.
fresh cut flowers from the hanging gardens of King Midas to please Princess Penelope on her birthday. Oh, <laughs> Penelope loves flowers. She dotes on them. Oh, Gardner, let me see. Oh, they're lovely, lovely. Oh, my goodness, Gardner, you have outdone yourself. Why, thank you, my queen. Olivia, please. Tell Prince Ajax and Queen Alexandra that we are ready to receive them. Right away, Your Majesty. Oh, my. Midas, aren't these flowers beautiful? Well, they would be more beautiful if they were gold. <laughs> <laughs> gold, gold, gold. That's all you think about. I can't help it. I crave the warmth of the milk. <laughs> gold has no warmth. It is cold to the touch. Card advisor, you would do well to tell your king that his exaggerated love of gold is unseemly. I never advise the king on anything. That way, Midas can never say I've given him bad advice. <laughs> it's the only way to survive. Court advisor, fetch in the cook. The cook? Did you say fetch in the cook? <laughs> yes, I said fetch in the cook. That's not my job to fetch in the cook. <laughs> then make it your job. But my rank, my high honor, my dignity. I said, fetch in the cook. At once, your majesty. <laughs> fetch in the cook. Fetch in the cook. What does she think I am, a dog to fetch a bone? <laughs> fetch in the cook. Stop 
counting those coins and start acting real. Get to business. Court advisor! Yes, Your Majesty, something you wish me to fit in. <laughs> <laughs> Please inform Princess Penelope that we are waiting for her. It shall be done. Move it! No! <laughs> Your crown is crooked. My golden crown? Show some respect. Gold or tin, it's crooked. I wonder if the princess will remember me. It's been almost a year since I've last seen her. You'll find her more lovely than ever. Patience, Ajax. Patience is a virtue. Young people are so impetuous. <laughs> oh, rest assured, Prince Ajax, that Princess Penelope has not forgotten you. Where is my daughter? Where is Penelope? Penelope! Penelope! Penelope. Princess Penelope! Your Majesty, you'll never guess what we saw in the garden. It was truly fabulous. It was nibbling on a fig tree. It was like a dream. A dream come true. Be quiet, Sarah. Be quiet, young bee. This is no time for your foolish idle chatter. Where is your mistress? My future daughter-in-law. My bride-to-be. My princess, princess Penelope. Penelope! Here I am. Oh, happy birthday, Happy princess. birthday. Alexandra. Please, child, take your seat and greet your guests. Court advisor! It was in the garden, Mother, by the little waterfall. What was? A unicorn! Oh, 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 my goodness, a unicorn! Well, that could possibly be true. Well, that's so sad. There are no such things as unicorn. They never existed. Yes, but if they did, wouldn't it be wondrous if they had a gold horn on their forehead? <laughs> Please stop thinking about gold. It just won't be easy. Court advisor! Something you wish me to fetch in, Your Majesty? Please tell the guests that we are ready for them. I shall advise them. Move it! Oh! It's true, Mother. I did see a unicorn. Sarah saw it and so did Delphine. Don't contradict your mother, dear. Mother is always right. Unicorns are... Mythological. What you saw was a mirage. It would be a shame if there were no more unicorns, would it not? Oh, alas. Athena, commander of the palace guard. Hail, Princess Penelope, daughter of Midas and Helena. I salute you and wish you a happy birthday. A shepherdess from the hills. Hail, Princess Penelope. I bring greetings from Adam Shepherds and Shepherdesses. He begins. Citizens from the island kingdom of King Midas, a delegation. I bid you welcome, good citizens. Welcome to the court of my father. Happy birthday, princess. A coin to symbolize your worth and to show us our good fortune in having you as our princess. Isn't the coin golden? No, great king, but it is very old. So old, no one can tell its age. We hope it will bring our princess long life. Thank you. May this small branch from the olive tree bring you a life of trouble and strife. May you live and reign in peace. I thank you. In his jars, nectar from things that grow on mountains, so may this sweet tasting nectar bring eternal smile to your lips. Thank you, all the citizens. Not one piece of gold. <laughs> Your Majesties, we have a special presentation for Princess Penelope's birthday. Oh, Princess Penelope, we have brought the children of the kingdom to the castle today. They have prepared special entertainment just for you. Wonderful. Children, it's time!
princess. A unicorn. A unicorn? Oh, wonders of wonders. We did not imagine, Delphine. A real live unicorn. Rubbish. Unicorns aren't real. It's a funny looking goat. That's it. <laughs> Terrace and have a piece of cake. Cake time! Cake time. Cake time. Cake time. Cake time. 